Hello, happy travelers. Greetings from New York City. We heard that the Staten Island Ferry is a free and awesome way to see the Statue of Liberty. So that's where we're headed. New York has decided to skip fall and go directly to winter. Freaking cold and raining here. We changed hotels today. Now we're really close to Times Square, even closer than before, but we're going downtown at the moment. So we've been in New York for like almost 48 hours. We haven't taken the subway yet, which is kind of crazy. I'll be glad to be taking the train instead of walking today since it's raining. End of the line. We only had to take one train, no changes. I don't know how New Yorkers say it, but it's the one train down the South Ferry. So we made it to the Staten Island Ferry Terminal. This ferry is completely free, and during peak times, it runs like every 10 minutes. It goes 24 hours, and it looks like the next one just came. So we're right in time. So the whole point of taking this ferry is that it gets up to the Statue of Liberty very closely. If you don't want to spend the money to take a tour or take, you know, a half day or full day to go tour the island, you can just take this and see it up close and not pay any money. I'd say we were about a quarter mile away from it. Yeah, it's not bad for being free. You gotta see the Statue of Liberty. She's cool. She's a harbor chick. <laughs> oh, don't worry, she's tough. She's a harbor chick! Also, you get to see Ellis Island, Governor's Island, and an awesome view of the skyline from here. So it's yeah. definitely worth the trip over. For your safety, all passengers are to remain off stairs, ramps, and landings until the ferry has come to a complete stop. Thank you for riding the Staten Island Ferry. Well, here we are in the Staten Island Terminal, and we're just going to head back. They do make you get off the ferry, even if you're just going to do a return trip, so we had to exit and then kind of get right back in line. The trip here took about a half an hour, and I think it'll be about the same back, so it's like an hour or so. I'm going to stay inside for this trip because it is quite cold and windy out. We, we did our sightseeing on the first part. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Park for a minute. It's raining. I forgot my umbrella on the ferry, guys. Ah! We saw this carousel on an episode of the show Billions, and we wanted to come see it for ourselves. It's in Battery Park, right next to the Staten Island Ferry Terminal, and uh, it's the most unique carousel I've ever seen. Very beautiful. I think it's five dollars for a ride if you want to take your kids here, which is pretty cool. But um, I think we're due for another slice of pizza, so we're gonna take a recommendation from somebody and hop on the train and go get some pizza and maybe a cheeky little cupcake. The subway's a nice break because it's dry. <laughs> Are your feet wet? A little bit. Aw. All right. We're doing this old school with Metro cards. You can do it with an app now, though. Hang out with me on that. Put it in one. 
as an update, I left my umbrella on the Staten Island Ferry and then we found one on the subway. <laughs> so minus one umbrella plus one umbrella. And we're looking for some pizza right now and it's very rainy. It is absolutely unnecessary to get on the subway to find a slice of pizza in New York, but we're just going by some recommendations and there's apparently a good cupcake shop near there too, so. We heard pizza and cupcakes? We heard pizza and cupcakes and we're there, nope. man. <laughs> the best we've had so far. I think it's like three or four bucks a slice. A little bit more than the other pizza we've been having. It's real good though. Okay. Now for dessert, we're going directly across the street. Little Cupcake Bake Shop. Can't beat the uh, proximity. Literally right across the street. Pizza here for him, cupcakes over there for me. <laughs> So I got golden chocolate, which I don't know what that means, but it sounds good. And a pumpkin spice because, you know. <laughs> it's October. It's October and I'm a white girl. They also have vegan and gluten-free stuff if you have a dietary restriction. You can sit down out of the rain in here, so we're good. There are a couple food and wine articles they have up on the wall here. One says best chocolate cake in the U.S. and one says best cupcake in the U.S. Bold claim. Yeah, that's bold. Should we, shall we see? Let's find out. It's the pumpkin spice one. It's really good. I think the frosting is buttercream. It's a little small for how much I paid for it, but it's really good. Mm. Well, we originally had plans to go and walk the High Line, but the weather is just way too crappy to do that, so. Yeah, it deteriorated pretty fast, and it started to get dark because we spent too much time eating cupcakes. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> so we're just back at our room, and we're gonna call it a night. So I think that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, this is Kelly and Kevin from The Awkward Tourists. Peace out. We are moving on from New York City. We're taking the Maple Leaf Express on Amtrak. These seats are super comfortable. They've got like a recliner. I've been lounging. <laughs> As we got further north, the fall colors got better and better. Must exit into the terminal and into the waiting room to await the next ferry. Let's not get hit by a car.